Hey everyone, it's Miss Spillman, and today we're looking at the video of 5-7 homework. I love expressions because it's kind of like a little puzzle. You get to put pieces together. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's like finding that crazy corner piece. Um, but we're going to first look at number one, which is a diagram or a model that you could draw, but they have for you, and we need to um, combine like terms and find an equivalent. Remember, equivalent equals equal. Um, they're equal expressions, but when I combine like terms, I can't put M and N together. That is just not how it works. I can't put numbers together. That works. But when I combine like terms, and you can see I'm like, what? Like a huge space. Um, only like terms can com be combined. So my 3 and my M and my N, well, that, that can't be combined. But I can add the 3 and the 4 together, which gives me 7. Sometimes I like to make a slash through it if I know like I've already used it. When I do M plus 2M, well, then I get 3M. Remember, I'm just adding these together. And N plus N, well, that equals 2N. And I can really see that from the diagram as well. We'll be simplifying and combining like terms with numbers 2 through 7. 4X plus 5 plus X plus 3. <clears throat> so I make that 5X plus 8. Notice I'm still putting the X's together and the numbers together. This one has subtraction, so I have to keep in mind, this is like saying 5 minus 3. I can't add, well, I could. I could add 5 plus a negative 3, but that's just like saying 5 minus 3. It gives me 2. When I go to the B's, I have 2B minus B. So if I have 2B and I take away a B, what do I get? Well, I just get B. And then I have 2A and 3A, and adding those together, I get 5a. Don't be mixed up with subtraction though. Even the ones that have um, powers or exponents, we'll talk about those ones too, but don't let those stop you. So 10 plus 4y plus 5 plus 6y is 15 plus 10y. Pretty straightforward. 6 plus 8x plus 5y plus 2 plus x. So adding my numbers, 8, 6 plus 2, and when I go to the x, I have 8 plus 1 is 9x, and 5y, it's all on its own. Okay, 4 plus w squared plus 5 plus w squared. So I know 4 and 5 is 9, but I have two sets of w squared. That does not make it w to the fourth power. It's like saying 2 times w squared, or 2w squared. Um, I can't make it 4w, that's, that, that's just not what it works when I have an exponent. So it's 9 plus 2w squared. Number 7, 3c squared plus c squared. Well, remember, it's like having separate groups. So I have this 3c squared, and I add one more c squared to it, and I get 4c squared plus 1. So this time, I'm going to rewrite these and then write the coefficient. 3 times 8 is 24, making it 24x. The coefficient is 24. 2 times 4 is 8 8, sorry, and this will end up being 8y squared because I have this y times y, coefficient being 8. 4p times 3q is 12pq, coefficient of 12. These ones are going to require me to think outside the box, which I know this requires boxes, but I really have to look at what the expression is wanting me to multiply. Now, there are 10 boxes, and each box has four six-packs of juice in them. So I'm drawing them. There's 10 boxes, four six-packs, and each of those six-packs has six bottles of juice. Now, this is a crazy picture for me to draw because I have to draw 10 of these things. And, I mean, quite frankly, I drew them very small. I'm not really totally sure why. But inside those big circles, I draw one, two, three, four, five, six dots. So just modeling it with a picture, I'm able to see, oh, okay, well, this is how many bottles would be in one box. So if we look at 10 times 4, the product of 10 and 4, multiplied by 6, well, the 10 and the 4, the 10 is the number of boxes, and the 4 is the number of six packs in the boxes. So I took the number of boxes and I multiplied it by the number of six packs in the boxes. 
When I have the 6 on the outside, I'm taking that total number 40 and I'm multiplying it by 6. The 6 is the number of bottles within each 6-pack. What? I know, it's kind of like a different language. But again, modeling it will help you see. There are 6 dots within each 4, each one of the 4. And the four big dots are with or circles are within one box. So I have 10 boxes. Each box has four big circles. And each of the four circles has six little dots. And I get an answer of 240, which ends up being 40 times 6. So now we look at it a different way. And this is 10 multiplied by the product of 4 and 6. Well, look back at our picture. Four represents the number of six packs of juice in each box. The six represents the number of bottles in each six pack. So within just the six packs, four six packs per box, six bottles in each, four times six, and I have 10 boxes, so I multiply that by 10. Multiplying four times six gives me the number in one box. I multiply that by 10 in order to get the entire load of boxes. So total, I get 240. And you can see 10 times 24. I get the same answer. Ooh, okay, this must be a property of multiplication. But do you know which one? Maybe you can tell me in class and that'd be super cool if you can. You can do this. I believe in you.